The engines on the Scarlowy Railway were very excited. It had been announced that the Duke and Duchess of Boxford was going to visit the railway. And it was their first visit to the railway, and the engines were excited about them seeing the beautiful sights. And they're also wondering which engine would show them around. And one day, the thin controller came to visit the engines. Now as I announced a couple of weeks ago, the Duke and Duchess of Boxford will be visiting the railway. Well, the time has finally arrived. They will be visiting tomorrow. The engines were excited. Now, Duke, you will show the Duke and Duchess of Boxford around the railway. Oh, r really? said Duke. Is there something wrong? said the thin controller. Well, it's just that tomorrow's Wednesday, and that's the day of my picnic train. But, Duke, your picnic train can wait till next week. This is a very special job. I know, but my friends will be very disappointed. They enjoy Wednesdays when I take them out. Duke, are you sure? You might never get a chance like this again. Please have a think about it. Duke had a long think. No, I will not disappoint my friends, said Duke. Okay, Duke. That means that the only free engine tomorrow that will be able to take the Duke and Duchess of Boxford is Duncan. Oh, really? sighed the engines. The next morning, Duncan was getting ready. Listen, warned Jake, the Duke and Duchess of Boxford are very important people. You must speak to them in a polite manner. I'll know how to speak to people, said Duncan crossly. Well, if you do, Duncan, make sure you do it today. I'll show that old boy the, that smelly diesel and all those old worn-out streamers how important and useful that can be. Today, uh, there will be the most useful engine of all. You will be really useful, said Duncan's driver, but we must go and get some water first. Water first? Ah, uh, I don't think so. We want to show this beautiful lily off, don't we? Of course we do. Where well, then, up the line from Cloven's Gate, there's a water tower. And beside it is one of the most beautiful parts of the countryside. I should have enough water to take me there. And while I'm filling up for water, the Duke and Duchess of Boxford could have a nice walk around and admire the most beautiful strats of our railway. Duncan's driver was worried. I don't know if I'd have enough water to take us there, Duncan. Duncan was very persistent. Well, of course we would, he argued. Uh, okay then, Duncan. Ah, that's settled, Blen. Come on, let's get going. And then Duncan set off. When he arrived at Croven's Gate, the thin controller was waiting for him. Duncan, I would like to introduce you to the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. Hello there, Duncan. How do you do? Hello there, there. How did you do? My name is Duncan. It is a pleasure to meet you, and I'm going to show you around the Scarlet Railway. Everyone laughed. Even the thin controller, they thought it was ever so funny. <laughs> Duncan was furious. No the one embarrasses me like that, he said angrily. The Duke and Duchess laughed. No, no, Duncan. No need to put on a polite voice just for us. Just act your normal self. Fine, said Duncan crossly. And the Duke and Duchess boarded the coach. And then Duncan set off. Duncan showed the Duke and Duchess around the railway, but he was so cross about everyone laughing at him.
then there was trouble. When he came to the water tower, he stopped. Oh, the great! This cannot be happening! Now I've run out of water! Driver, you better go and get a bucket! I don't have a bucket, Duncan! I will ask the guard if he has one! So Duncan's driver asked the guard. And then he told the Duke and Duchess of Oxford what was wrong. When he came back he had bad news. The guard had a bucket this morning, but he had to give it to one of the workmen at the yards. We're stuck. Ah, oh, you wouldn't believe your luck. Running out of water, just a few inches from the water tower. Water didn't I get water this morning. Just then, Duke arrived. He was very surprised to see Duncan. What are you doing here, Duncan? He asked. Duncan told Duke what had happened. I'll have been a very silly engine, and I'll have let the whole railway down and put onto the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. Suddenly, Duke smiled. Don't worry, Duncan. I have an idea. I've just finished my picnic train, and soon I'll be heading to Croven's Gate, so I will take the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. Duncan was pleased. All Dukey, will ya? That'd be great! So the drivers agreed, and the Duke and Duchess of Oxford boarded one of Duke's coaches. And then Duke set off. And a few moments later, Rusty arrived and pushed Duncan to the water tower. And Duncan felt better after a nice long drink. But he was worried about what the thin controller would say. And then he headed the Crovens Gate. The thin controller was full of apologies. I am ever so sorry. I did not expect Duncan to run out of water halfway through your journey. But the Duke and Duchess of Oxford didn't seem to mind. Don't worry about it, Mr. Percival. We had a lovely time. We got to ride on two of your engines. The first one, Duncan, ran out of water, but another engine, called Duke, came to save us. And getting to ride on two engines, especially one called Duke, was really special. We will be visiting your railway again. The thin controller was very pleased and relieved. Just then, Duncan arrived. He was very worried. Well, it's the thin controller gonna say to me. Then he came over to him. Duncan, I heard you tried to show off the day. But what you done was a very good idea. The Duke and Duchess were very pleased. And were very pleased to get the ride on two engines. Especially Duke. And said they will visit this railway again. So finally, something good has came out of one of your ideas, Duncan. Duncan was delighted. I am officially the best engine on this really. Even better than all those old streamers. But he said it to himself.